it's about uh, 30 degrees out so I'm 10 degrees up in the battery cabinet so I installed this little fan it's 12 volt fan it's a computer case fan so it's blowing warm air into the battery compartment and it definitely works mm. Mm. What's out there? Oh, it snowed. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I gotta put some clothes on. I am not stepping out there in my socks. You know you're crazy, right? You wanna go out in that snow? Oh, the sun is coming up. It's supposed to be a sunny but very windy day today. But that's okay. I should get out your jacket, huh? He's got a hoodie. It's just packed away in a bin up there. Mm. I hear you. I'm coming. Okay, coming out. Okay. Come on. Okay. I'm looking for elk. It's not super cold. You know, the wind doesn't help. What, you doing some roosters? Woo! What? Oh, is that, that brisk air waking you up? I don't think I mentioned this, but EP Ever is sending me an updated charge controller that does do low temperature charging cutoff and has lithium support. So that's gonna be uh, a New York installation. I'm gonna pull this one out and install their new one. Same. Same exact setup, same tracer series. It's just an updated one with different hardware that allows it to have that low temp charging cutoff. Don't be acting all puppyish out here. Come on, let's go inside. I'm freezing. Come on, left. Oh, yeah. I guess you're no dummy, huh? All right, let me get inside here. Because I'm cold. And it's getting cold. Is that cold or what? Oh my gosh. I think you like it. You do, don't you? Acting all puppy. What are you do? It's cold out there, isn't it, buddy? Huh? Oh my goodness. Woo! How cold is that? Don't be eyeing my gloves. I see you. Do not be eyeing my gloves. No! Don't even think about it. <laughs> mine. Get it out of there. <laughs> hey, give me that. You better, you better bring it. Come here. Okay, okay. You such a turd head. I love those gloves. I don't want them getting chewed up. I don't think he's ever chewed up gloves. Just loves playing with them. Good morning. Quite a morning, eh? <laughs> I knew this was in the weather forecast, so, you know, not a huge deal. All of this snow, this happened yesterday. It didn't snow anymore overnight because I came out and brushed all this off before we got dark. No more fell on it. So 
it's supposed to get up to mid 50s today. Come on. There you go. Somebody's uh, acting like a puppy. But we're going to want to climb up here and get the solar panels cleaned off. That's the first thing I've got to do this morning. Let's take a look and see what we got. <clears throat> oh boy. Yeah, no wonder I'm only getting like two amps. <laughs> Ah, that one's a little iced. A little bit more sun on here and it should all come off. Ah. That's better. It's got to let the sun hit those. Okay. Cool. Ah. <laughs> Bailing out in his four wheel drive. If I had four-wheel drive, I would drive. You know, we just we don't need to go anywhere. We've got we've got enough um, we've got enough food and water and diesel that we can spend some days up here without worrying about it. I was watching a news story. I don't watch the news ever. Yesterday, I actually went and installed a news app on my small little TV there above the bed. Because I'm, you know, I'm way out of the loop on news. I just have no, I really have no interest in it. But there was a discussion being had about this pipeline, oil pipeline that uh, Biden vetoed. And now this is coming from, you know, like the oil lobbyists. They're saying that if we had that pipeline, we would not have a shortage right now. There's a 500,000 barrel shortage because of the whole Russia-Ukraine thing. But this pipeline would have compensated for that and provided us with that and more. So we wouldn't have this, these price hikes right now. Something's got to be done. How is the normal, you know, if I was, uh, you know, a person that's, you know, working their job, got to get up and go to work every day, and all of a sudden their fuel costs more than double, that could be catastrophic, and I'm sure it is for a lot of people. I'm so fortunate that I don't have to drive anywhere if I don't want to. I mean, even driving here, we used a lot of diesel because uh, I-40 is very mountainous. And uh, I was, I had my foot in it quite a few times and we sucked a lot of diesel, I hate to say. All right, I'm gonna go around the other side. But, you know, I, I don't have enough information to make any kind of valid argument one way or the other about that pipeline. Just I just do know, you know, something's got to be done. Something's got to... This reminds me of back when, what was it, the Hurricane Katrina? And so the oil speculators said, oh, we're going to lose all of the offshore drilling rigs because of the storm. So prices skyrocketed, you know, I think before the storm even hit. And, and I remember this, after it turned out that there wasn't a big shortage and all that, the prices came back down, but they never returned to what they were before that incident. And even no matter what shakes out this time, 
I'll guarantee that once they get the pricing under control, it's never gonna come back down. So that's how they make these bulk increases in charges. There's an incident, they raise it way up, and then they're nice to us and they bring it back down to 50 cents a gallon more than it used to be. But we're all thankful for it. So even once this does get under control, we're all gonna get boned. And I know that the US has traditionally had lower fuel prices than other countries due to whatever, government subsidies or whatever. So, government, get off your asses and get our fuel costs down, whatever it takes, because you're killing the economy right now. So now every single thing is gonna have an increase in cost due to fuel cost increased. So, you know, you thought Amazon deliveries were bad before? Wait till they get their hands around this. Ah, there we go. So everything now is gonna increase in cost. So this is, this is fixing to be a, Pretty bad one. What the heck? This country is just... And I don't like to talk about this kind of stuff because again, I'm not... I'm not well informed, so I can't... I can't make valid arguments one way or the other. I'm just talking about my feelings about this. They're not backed up by any kind of information or education it's just my feelings about it and it kind of scares me to be honest with you for a couple of reasons um for my own financial security i can't start paying double for fuel and across the board increases in prices for everything because it costs more to get them delivered to the retailers or whatever i i can't do that I don't even know why they're fighting, because like I said, I don't watch the news. And I just hope that they're well justified in what they're doing, because their actions are affecting the entire globe. And I don't even want to talk about this kind of stuff, because I know it's a very polarizing topic for a lot of people. So go gentle in the comments and don't chastise me for anything that I've said, because I'm just talking about my feelings about this. Again, I'm not backed up by any info. He's ready to go for a walk. I'll get him. Ugh. I gotta get a heater. It's sped up. So it's it's been cycling up and down to keep the temperature warm inside. It got that cold last night. So here's uh, here's old man David. I've gotten to eating dates, and I actually have a bag of prunes up there. Hmm. Today, for lunch, lunch, dinner, dinner, we're going to have uh, ribeye steak and some french fries. So we're going to be cooking off solar power today. Now, because it's getting more into spring, summer, and the sun angle is improving, so back over the winter time, the highest amperage I would see coming from the solar panels was 35 amps when I was running the air fryer. Uh, we hit 65 amps a couple days ago using it. This frying pan is just the best. There we go. 
Just got these eggs at the store yesterday. Went into town, filled the propane tank. My gauge was showing at the bottom end, like it was starting to go into the yellow. It only took 1.8 pounds, or 1.8 gallons, which is less than half. So, you know, but I didn't want to run out for sure. So better safe than sorry. So I had that filled. Um, I was going to get water, but my shower tank was full, so I transferred all the shower tank water into my drinking water tank just to cut down on the weight. Um, and I'm, I took a shower in town at the Loves, and uh, then I went and put some diesel in just because, you know, I've been running the heater a lot. So I put it on slow pump, and I went up to clean the windshield. And when I was done, I came back around and looked. I had already crossed a hundred dollars. I ah, and I stopped. I stopped it. It was at five twenty-eight. Was the cheapest I could find in town. And I just put what a hundred and thirty-five dollars just the other day. Ooh, that bacon came out good. Hmm. Hmm. No, I know. One of your favorites. We're just kind of hiding out in here. It's a little chilly. We're doing great. Now, I just had to order Lefty's food. I get the same bag of food from Chewy.com. And I'm on the auto ship thing. So I go on there and I had to go put in the new address for here. So the last time we ordered was February 5th. And his bag of food has gone up just over 20%. $10 more expensive than it was six weeks ago. If everything is going to increase by 20% or more including you know fuel which is double right now where is this going to end anyways sitting here watching the matrix and cooking italian sausage and steak fries this is loaded with steak fries solar panels are putting down 65 amps to run the air fryer Oh, it's on a rest right now. It's cycled off, so 60 amps is going to the batteries. I saw it hit 1,000 watts. So you take the volts times the amps. That's the input from the panel. So right now, if you multiply 55 times 15, but I saw it hit, it was at 52 and 19, which is, that's over 1,000 watts. You know, and it, it does this up cycling, you know, up and down with the load stay or the output staying at 60 to 65 amps. Um, so just uh, relaxing in here and watching the ground dry up. We're getting close to being able to move to the other side, but not quite yet. We got good web speed here, right? I don't know. You're not happy with that speed? It's plenty fast enough for what we're doing. Not bad for being up in the mountains. It's faster than quartzite, that's for sure. Yes. Oh, you gonna jump up? Go ahead, get up there. Come on. There you go. Comfy? 